everyone. Welcome back to our community. I'm Jen, if you're new. I focus on all things self-care, health, wellness, while living in New York City. You're gonna work out with me this week. I'm going to take you through a week of workouts. I thought this would be fun because I'm always mixing it up. You guys see that on my channel. I'm, I review all different types of workouts and I'm in a fortunate position where some people give me free workouts to try out. I have a workout class that's a client called The Class and I have a free subscription through them. So I'm able to really dabble. There are some people I love on Instagram and YouTube. Before we get into day one, please give this video a thumbs up if you're excited. Let's kick off the week. I know it sounds silly, but like there's something about moving my body for 37 minutes in the flow and like stretching and doing Pilates that's really speaking to me right now. I feel like my back hurts, like I just feel stiff, I'm always sitting, so I'm going to do that and then get some more cardio in tomorrow. But for today, we're gonna do yoga and Pilates. So I am huge on, unless I'm doing like rumble or strength training, I'm doing like yoga, Pilates, it's more of a spiritual or meditative practice. I always put the diffuser on, either eucalyptus or lemongrass, my favorite recently is peppermint, so I'm putting that in right now. To have that flowing while you're physically flowing, huh? And I use plant therapy oils. They're 100% natural and organic. You can't just get like a random essential oil from the gas station on the corner. That stuff will give you a headache. It's not pure, it's not natural, so you wanna make sure you're really careful about what essential oils you're purchasing. Coming into a comfortable seated position. so good after Melissa would help and usually hers are pretty short so doing a 37 minute one was definitely different I got that yoga stretch but I still feel like I just got in such a good workout because she incorporated pulsing and like those Pilates moves so if you're looking for something that's just a little bit slower maybe you're not a big cardio or strength training person and you're more of a stretcher a yoga girl I highly recommend Melissa would help this was just exactly what I needed today also so perfect for when you don't want to wash your hair or you're like have a meeting right after and you can't shower Melissa would help is perfect I have a full review I'll put it up here and in the link below if you're really interested in this workout definitely check that out <laughs> I'm actually pretty sore because the day before that I did a bit of strength training and the stretching challenge that I'm doing with Adam McNulty is making my back sore. It's very interesting. I've never been sore from stretches before. Today I think I want to do strength training. I did glutes with Tatiana. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that she was my personal trainer and I love her apps. So I'll take you through like a little tutorial of her app since I have not done a review on my channel. But I did like a 20 minute glutes with her. So I think today I want to do like an, more of an up body situation. I love the training with TF because number one, I love Tatiana. She has such a great energy about her and number two, as opposed to most other apps and fitness programs out there, she is a corrective exercise specialist so she's really focused on form. Usually it's like the same circuit multiple times. So she'll walk you through the form of that entire circuit before we even work out. This isn't an in-person one-on-one session, this is an app. So she wants to be super cognizant of the fact that like she can't correct your form along the way. And she has all these challenges. So let me just show you. Okay, so she has these seven day challenges. My favorite part is she has this how-to section, so not only does she walk you through everything in the actual workout, but it's a huge asset to the app, so I love that. Oh, maybe we'll do a total. I think we'll do 16 minutes to bottom arms and abs. That's what we're gonna do. Hey guys, welcome to your arms and abs, but this is going to 
be Tabata style. So we're gonna be working for 20 seconds, 10 seconds to recover. I love that I got some strength training in, but it wasn't like 45 minutes. And I also am not like drenched in sweat where I need to go shower. Obviously I'm gonna shower today, but I don't need to wash my hair, you know. I love that that was almost 20 minutes of arms and the abs. Also wanted to mention that Tatiana actually gave me a code for you guys to get money off of your first month of the app. So if you wanna try out the app, I will put the discount code up here and in the description below. So you can just click on the link and check it out. I don't know why I got Southern there. It's a rainy, freezing Friday in New York, so I don't know about you guys, but when it's raining, I have like a slower morning. I took my time this morning, drank coffee, did a longer breath work meditation, and then I had to jump into work. I'm in those like gloomy vibes. I have to film, so I don't wanna wash my hair. So I think I'm just gonna do Melissa Wood Health again today. I don't feel the urge to do like a really crazy workout. I'm gonna do some, some quickies with Melissa Wood Health. I'm really getting into just moving my body every single day. I barely leave the apartment as it is, and when it's raining, I'm definitely not, so. I don't wanna do absolutely nothing, so I think this will just be the perfect way to move my body and just like move through my day. I have no energy. One great thing that has come out of the past year and having to slow down is discovering these quick little workouts. I used to think like, oh, I have no energy to go to the gym. I have no energy to do a class, thinking that working out had to be this big, like energetic cardio situation. But I've just learned, like, if I don't have energy to do a workout like that, that doesn't mean I can't move my body. I can do 10 minutes with Melissa would help. And I wish I discovered this when I was working, when I could have just 10 minutes before leaving for work done a quick little Pilates thing. It's one thing I'll be able to take with me forever now. <laughs> breaking it into little tiny practices like 10 minute arms, 12 minute booty, whatever. It just feels really good. It's all about just finding those workouts that you enjoy and that help you mentally because then it'll come to fruition physically, but it's something that you wanna do that helps you feel good and better and able to move through your day. So that's Melissa Wood Health for me. It keeps me super toned and healthy as well, so. I've been doing kundalini breath work every single morning and I'm doing a 30 day challenge of it and I want to try her express in body flow. So that's what we're gonna do. In body flow today, we're gonna move, we're gonna breathe.
first of all, I loved that. I'm curious if you did. Yeah, I liked it. It's good for an off day. For someone who's addicted to strength training. For me, I surprisingly really loved it. It was the perfect mix between like Melissa with health and the class where it's also more upbeat and cardio, but it was like pop and hip hop music. So I absolutely loved it. Yeah, I like the stretching. The, the stretching was, yeah. It was perfect mix between like cardio, yoga, Pilates, like so much in there. And then at the end with the stretch, she really let you do like whatever. She gave you so many options. I'm gonna do that a lot. The and I feel like I broke a sweat. The, yeah, there was a time where you had to activate your, your muscles. <laughs> a time? Yeah, like- The whole time. No, but there was a time in the, in the middle. Scene? where she did a lot of abs and a lot of Yeah, she, legs. she did like yoga to start, then legs, then abs, and then stretching. I'm obsessed. I loved it. This is my new thing. I love you. Thank you. She'll actually be on my podcast. I'm so excited to talk to her about it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>
welcome to the last day of my week of workout. So not only is it my last day of week of workouts, but it's also day one of my Mad Fit Challenge. You guys get a little glimpse into the beginning of this challenge and click subscribe so that you don't miss the results. I did a poll on the community tab asking you guys which workout challenge you wanted me to do next, and you guys chose Mad Fit, so we're doing that this month. So we're gonna try that out. out with me this week. I'm very intrigued by Mad Fit. I'm really excited to see where this month of working out with her takes us. It feels super sustainable. Like it was quick videos and my arms were burning. It's sort of like quicker workouts like Melissa would help, but it's more strength training and a little bit higher intensity. Like I know she has some HIIT workouts, but it feels super sustainable. So I'm really excited. Click subscribe and the notification bell so that you don't miss that video. Comment down below if you've done any of these workouts that I did this week. I'd love to hear your thoughts on them. Which one is your favorite? And I will see you guys next time. Stay safe and wear a mask. Mwah.